I'm selling my buggy. Originally it was a Yurf dog, but it's a little beefed up now. Um, basically from here back is all new in order to accommodate the new, uh, it's a snowmobile engine. This is a uh, Union Bay 770. I believe it was originally a Polaris 700 and I got it from a guy I did was selling a snowmobile that was kind of trash, but the engine was good. Um, online it says it gets about 165 horsepower or so, so this thing really rips. You got two jack shafts on this. You know, coming off the, the CVT here, you got the first jack shaft from the snowmobile mounted on these uh, pillow blocks. And that goes down to this jack shaft. And then, well the chain's not on it because I need to adjust the idler. But then this goes to the final axle, which I believe this is an inch and a quarter, 4130 I put in. So, you know, make it really beefy and uh, don't want any snapping there. Also, I widened it out a little to get more little stability. The gas I got in right now is pretty rich. Coming up here, got some Fox shocks. You got the, um, this is a, from eBay, it's a Honda Civic radiator and fan. I would replace that overflow tank. I don't think that is rated for hot. Uh, liquids um, up front here. I don't know what this was, but it's now a gas tank works pretty well gauge cluster needs to be finished um, This is just the front panel. So I would out it back there and I'm not and if since he's got wet how if they still work I they can probably be dry dried out um, I would add harnesses for sure. That's one of the reasons I I don't know why I stopped driving this. I only drove it a little bit uh, Wiring route that oh you also need a battery. I don't know where you want to mount that? I was going to mount that under the seat. Um, coming up front, this is stock, just a little, you know, welded up there. And then this is added an ATV and some fucking, I don't know, homemade, uh, uh, what do you call these, spindles or not? And some heim joints to strengthen it up because I heard on the forums that this is where the, those Yurf dogs like to break. So that's all good to go. I, I would imagine this is uh, pretty stout. Um, it's it's fairly wide. I think it it will fit on like a six foot trailer, six foot wide trailer. Oh, it might I would measure? I'll put it. I maybe a yeah, maybe a five feet actually. I think it would just fit. Um, yeah, uh, it runs well. Well, hasn't been starting a while, but ran well for me. If I could turn on the kill switch. It is rain rich though. Yeah. Um yeah, when I rode it this thing hauled ass, especially when it's torqued down like this, you know you're just you're hanging on and you you want a harness and probably some helmets. <laughs> 